Sarasota Tim's blessings might be in jeopardy. Recently, we've heard that Sarasota Tim has big plans. That's right. He's uh, traveling to California, looking at this, and he's been roaming through neighborhoods, eyeballing houses, and uh, I guess real estate Tim is putting on his little jacket, his realtor jacket, and he's telling us all about the real estate market and everything else. But he's got big plans. He's got big plans. Timmy! And, uh... Another thing that we know is that Sarasota Tim took advantage of every opportunity when the pandemic hit. And this is Tim's words. This is from Tim himself. Up until that point, he didn't do anything. He was pretty much worthless. He didn't work. He worked a little bit. He neglected his family, his children. He didn't pay, pay child support. He didn't build any kind of nest egg. He has no credit, anything, until... He turned 62 right before that. The pandemic hit, and he said he took advantage of everything. PPE loans, he took care of. I mean, he took advantage of uh, the uh, unemployment. And uh, we all know the EIDL and everything. Everything that was offered, Tim snatched it up. He was more than eager to just get his little grubby little hands on every single cent that he could take advantage of and the fact of the matter is that some of these folks you know we had that uh that big bloated mosquito from florida you know good old good old monty yeah ronald montgomery yeah he, he oh well tim was a big time youtuber and that therefore he qualified for all that well guess what he didn't get laid off from youtube and YouTube was thriving because the people that were stuck at home were watching YouTube. So there was nothing to keeping anybody from making YouTube videos, including good old Sarasota Tim and his 1 million subscribers. Now, I said back when they were just, you know, handing out stimulus checks and everything else, uh, like, uh, like, like aspirin, I said, this money has got to come from somewhere. And they were giving everybody mortgage forgiveness and rent forgiveness. And you don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. Oh, don't worry about it. Here, have some stimulus money. Have some stimulus money. Oh, there's a war in Ukraine. Let's give them some money. Where is all the money coming from? Well, now the Biden administration is asking the same thing. Where is all this money coming from? There's also a whole lot of people that have already been incarcerated and uh, prosecuted and investigated for fraudulent use of all of these pandemic relief loans. Uh, I actually did a story a while back on one. Actually, it was the lady, uh, the ice cream lady that Unstoppable Morgan got into a little kerfuffle with. Her husband is serving time for doing just that. Well, I, I, I'm kind of getting off this, the topic here, but not because now the Biden administration says, you know what? I think we're going to have to get some of that money back. And, uh, yeah, see, before the IRS was short-staffed, but I just gave them a whole bunch of money for, for, new, for new employees, that's right, for manpower and weapons and ammunition. So now we got enough people to do the job, and we think we're actually going to do it now. So here is what is going on, a little report from the IRS started shooting out some numbers and some things and said, Hey, look, we're in the hole and we got a bunch of people that, uh, you know, got stimulus checks and it, yeah, we found out that, that they were deceased. And, uh, so somebody got that money. So we're going to go back and we're going to start looking at people and finding out where this money went. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. And here, let's just hear what's happening. Don't believe me. Don't take it from me. But again, Sarasota Tim, your blessings just may be in jeopardy. And now the IRS is going after everybody that received any type of funding and benefit. This includes, and again, I bring this up because this is exactly what we were concerned with back then. Yep. Now it's turning into a reality. It says the IRS will go after anybody who benefited from pandemic era stimulus. Uh -huh. This includes 
the $1,200 stimulus check, the $600 stimulus check, the $1,400 stimulus check, and all the PPP loans, PPP enhanced loans. unemployment benefits, and so much more. This also includes, and, and here's where things get very interesting, is this includes uh, any type of mortgage forbearance. If you receive this and it was fraudulent, right, then they are potentially going to come after you. If you had, um, so yeah, I I just talked about that um, because a lot of people they were oh well I can't afford my more oh well don't worry we'll we'll let you slide you don't have to pay your mortgage and don't worry we won't tack it on to the end well they did and the same thing with a lot of uh, landlords were flipping out because they weren't able to keep their 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 houses their buildings up because nobody was paying rent because Biden administration said ah eh, you don't have to pay for that don't worry about it. And they were handing out, again, stimulus checks like Tic Tacs. Well, now they're saying, yeah, that was kind of dumb. And uh, we're going to crack down and we're going to find out. Did you get one of those PPP loans? Oh, Tim got two. Yeah, he did. Oh, did you get that advanced, that, 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 really, that really good extra, that extra unemployment check? It, Tim did. He even said he did. He brags about it right here on the YouTubes. Yeah, you can't deny it. It's right here. It's, they can just look at it. And everybody else that plays it all the time, <laughs> it's easy. Now, they didn't say anything about the EIDL yet. yet. But, yeah, all the stimulus checks, the PPP loans, unemployment, the mortgage forgiveness, the river, all that, they are going to be looking into it. So that's why I say, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Timmy. Timber! You better hurry up and do what you're going to do because your blessings may be in jeopardy and you might have to write a big old fat check to Uncle Sam. Go. Hey everybody, Barco Tim here. Got me a new cowboy hat. I'm here at the Walmart. This is Blind Views and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.